come to you first, Swapan Das Gupta, because the Prime Minister says that Rajpath symbolized colonialism. Now, there will be those who will say that is a name change enough to suggest that we've suddenly shed our colonial baggage? Is this simply tokenism? How do you respond? Look, Rajdeep, firstly, it's much more than a name change. Name change is only an aspect, a small aspect of this entire exercise. Firstly, you had and I think which is at the centerpiece of this whole ex exercise, was that for a very long time there was an impasse over what George V, who existed right think, till 1965 in, 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 in that canopy uh, behind India Gate, who will that be replaced by? And I think there was a decisive moment in which a decision was taken to put Subhash Chandra Bose, who was an unrelenting in his quest for freedom, uncompromising and unrelenting, so that was the first thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there was, in, in my view, an attempt to make this entire vista, and this, remember, is only a part of the entire redesigning which is going on, mm -hmm. this, to make it more popular, more people-friendly, more user-friendly, and more attractive. There was, if you recall, when Latians uh, did, did they, when Latians designed it, when Latians created a plan, this plan was because of the economies of the war left largely incomplete and half done. So today what we've done is that you've, you've improved upon the facilities, you've made a very attractive face which can be used by people. Now just I give a small example of this is that the amount of facilities, for instance toilets, they didn't exist. In that entire stretch, mm -hmm. there were all these canards spread about how many trees were going to be cut. And I think anybody who's gone there will now notice that this was based on a tissue of lies. There's been an evening of it. There's been a granite uh, pathway which is there, anti-slip thing done about it. And I think what we've really got now is something which is much more accessible to, to the people. And finally, the question of the Kartavya Pat. The why was the name of the Rajput chain? Now, you may ask question whether Kartavya Pat is the most appropriate name or not. But the shedding of the imperial legacy, to my mind, required a certain degree of symbolism. And I think at least two major aspects of that symbolism is there. But as Modi pointed out in, in his speech, this is a constant and ongoing process. The process of mental decolonization which is going on. And more than decolonization, it's an attempt to find an Indian identity. And this is an ongoing quest. And I think this Central Vista project is highly symbolic. It doesn't make the, it doesn't transform society totally. But it's through symbolisms like this on the 75th year of Indian independence that we begin the process of actually redefining India, moving after 75 years to a new stage where a more self-confident Indian India actually comes into being. Before I bring in my other guests, I just want to press you. You said this will represent an Indian identity. Do you really believe, Swapan Das Gupta, that Rajpath as it existed, and I had the unique distinction of marching on it, I can tell you as a young uh, NCC cadet in 1978, represented a colonial India. Do you really believe that? Or do you believe that that's also a bit of an exaggeration to suggest that no, Rajput represented it's, it's colonialism? Exactly. No, you know, if you really look, look at it that way, Lachians itself was a colonial relic. I mean, after that's all, right. the New Delhi itself was made by the British. You know, that at least the foundations, the, the, the basic, uh, the skeletal architecture of New Delhi has been mm -hmm. created by Lachians. And that, to, to that extent, there is a part of that leg legacy which is always there. And it will always be there because even if South Block and North, North Block are transformed into museums, mm -hmm. the point is those were things. And, so the, and the Vice Regal Lodge is now, is, is, has been called the Rashtrapati Bhavan. So there are these aspects. Mm -hmm. But the point is, what do we do with that inheritance? And whether we blindly emulate, whether we just continue with that em inheritance totally, mm -hmm. or whether we reshape it according to our tastes, our requirements, and our new mentality. Okay. So as I said, this is merely a quest. This is only a, a part of the journey which is there.
that for a person to flag decolonization, to flag mental servitude, to flag the fact that we need independence in a mental and in an intellectual sort of way, to uh, from the uh, from the prime minister to flag this, mm -hmm. I think marks an important step. So now let's not overstate the case, but let's not undermine it. Okay, this okay. is a step.